Uh, let's see here. Fiber rich diets equals a long, longer, healthier life. So go nuts, uh, uh, get fruity, and veg out a little every day. That means have, have some nuts, a little bit, almonds, walnuts, things like that. Eat plenty of fruits because fruits have a lot of fiber in them that you need. Uh, and veg out a little bit, which means go get some veggies. Get the greens, get the reds, get the oranges. Be multicolored in your fruits. Have all of them, okay? Don't stick with one. Um, because the, actually the fiber in there does help out with increasing lifespan, keeps you healthy, reduces uh, incidence of diabetes, all those other things. And they, actually most of the fibers, or some of the fibers in there uh, feed all the good bacteria in your intestines. So when I talk about probiotics and taking your probiotics, you gotta feed those guys. That's how you feed them. Um, so uh, a, a, a healthy bacteria is a good bacteria sometimes, if it's the right bacteria. <laughs> um, Let's see here. Uh, here. This one I thought was interesting. Uh, why, why is ESPN so big? Uh, why do you guys talk sports? Uh, here's the reason why. Talking about sports is much more fun than playing sports or even watching them. It's, it's all about the what-ifs. That's why, that's why ESPN and all the other sports networks have gotten so big and there's so much sports talk and talk radio. It's, it's all the what-ifs. It's the opinions and throwing that stuff out there, which is actually good for con conversing back and forth. And it's the best way for guys to relate too. So um, I thought that was pretty neat, just from uh, emotional standpoint and mental health. It actually helps keep your mental health up because you're always talking back and forth, you're bantering with everybody. You're focusing on the what ifs you're and thinking. Yeah, you're, you're engaged. always engaged. And you're not going to fall on that yeah. fountain. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, yeah. And, and, unless yeah, unless unless, unless you're arguing with somebody, and then somebody says. Get out of my way, jerk, and then they push you in because <laughs> they're suffering from, from some uh, sidewalk rage. <laughs> so, um, but, yeah, that's why all those things have gotten so big because it's all about the what-ifs and, you know, thinking about what could, what could possibly happen in the future. Then when which it is, happens, you've got to find something new. Which is totally true. I used to uh, um, work at a sports radio station, and we, uh, as the home team, uh, we would vote or actually hope that the home team would lose <laughs> and it's because if the home team loses, there's more of a dis discussion to have. There's more what-if situations. Oh, well, what oh, yeah. if they had done this? They might have won. If they win, there's no real conversation. <laughs> Who's you know? going to be the coach now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you know, if you have a winning team, no conversation needs to be had. Everyone's just like, hey, we did good. All right, moving on. You know, that's basically is, is it. Is Jerry going to come down to the box and be a coach too? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it really, uh, yeah, if, if they're winning, the uh, conversation has turned pretty uh, pointless. <laughs> you yeah. just have to, you have to dig for something. Yeah, so that's that's how those got. That's why they're so popular now. Um, let's see here. Ooh, here's one. Ooh, puppy. Yeah, this is a big one. I actually, I saw this on. I've seen this on CNN, Fox <laughs> News, and everything else. Oh Man's best friend is no. obese. Look at that. Look at that poor puppy. Um, so, it, I'm, I'm sure every, I'm sure everybody has heard that uh, pets take on the role of you know looking like their owners, and you see pet owners and their pets look a lot alike. Um, that's because most of the U.S looks like this poor little puppy <laughs> over on this side okay. over here so I, I take my pug to the vet and they said he your dog is obese so does that mean i look like my pug i mean i'm a little concerned now yes he did well, well, now, well, no, the, what, what that means is you know people usually start showing their 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 pets affection by feeding them and right. instead of taking them out to play yes. and walking and everything else yeah. And once you start walking the dog, if you, you start losing the weight. They start, they, they start see, losing weight. Pugs can't walk very well. They, and they snort a lot and all that. She said, yeah, she said your pug needs to be 20 pounds. At that time, it was 28.8 pounds. That's a third of his body weight. Well, he had to lose. Well, yeah. I, I tell you what, he is down to 23.4. We've lost five. We've lost five pounds. And I tell you, when I weigh him, I have to weigh me. I have also lost four pounds. Yeah, see that? So, see See that? See what happens? How about your pug? Is he fat? Uh, no, not really. I mean, uh, he's pretty good about like not. I mean, like if I put out a full bowl, sometimes he won't finish that throughout no, the entire day. His, yeah, his, so. his, his pug starts asking for monster. I just yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he actually no water for him. He's not a big fan of water. Do you want him to take him out? Uh, I bring him out. Like I got this little um, tennis ball slingshot, so I'll bring him across the street because there's a little park, and you know oh, we'll okay. play with that. Yeah. So he gets, you know, he gets a workout, and that makes it to where I don't have to run after it. Dog. So, yeah. Well, and I had to, I had to buy a stroller for mine because he was too fat to walk. <laughs> but, but he's now down to twenty three point four pounds, and he's, 
And he doesn't breathe so badly. He doesn't snore so much. So I guess he was obese. Yeah. See, that's good. Oh, yes. Okay, that okay. would have been the first clue. <laughs> no, no, pugs always snore. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they, yeah. Do. they can't yeah, snort. They do. And it's, yeah. it's just they do, they they, no they nose. territory. Yeah. 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 Yes. And they yeah. do other things, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> they snort. They spit. They, you know. I like, had I had somebody say, oh, well, wow, you were really snoring quite a bit yesterday. And I've never <laughs> snored before. And it was actually my dog. Oh. My dog was sleeping <laughs> yeah, like right. at the bed of my thing. And, yeah, yeah. just going nuts. Yeah. So, wow. yeah. Yeah. At my household, we have two people snoring in unison, the dog and the husband. And so i got to tell you, it's tough sometimes. I'm, I'm really looking into so, good so, earplugs. So, so is it like doing banjos at night? What? Is it like doing banjos with it the snores is, at night? It is. It really is. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, wow. with, with that, okay. people, if you love your pets, <laughs> if you really love your pet, take your pet out, walk your pet, okay? So here's the thing with, with that. Um, Basically, more exercise, so less food. Cheese. Love them a lot. So, <laughs> lo- lo- lots, lots of pets, lots of walks. If you got cats, run them around, have them chasing strings and stuff, and make them chase you with a string. Because uh, the healthier you are, the healthier Try they are. Try to catch a cat. That'll be give them extra. Yeah. Run everywhere. <laughs> I've heard uh, also. I don't know where this stat was, so I'm just gonna say that it was somewhere that was like really legit. Uh, but like they were saying that uh, people that usually wouldn't work out get guilted into working out because of their dog. Yes. So that yeah. happens more often than not. And yeah. it's totally true with me yeah. because I wouldn't run and you couldn't have paid me. And then now I got the dog. Got I'm like, well, slingshot. well, that's, yeah. that's because people will do more for their pets than they will for themselves or even their kids sometimes. Uh huh. Because I mean. That, 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 that's that's their pet. That's their baby. So, uh, you know, if they find that their their pet needs to be in better health, then they start getting their pet healthy, and it's they get like healthy the in dog, turn. Dog can open mm-hmm. the door and go outside. Exactly. Well, not unless no, you so got a real big dog. Really dependent on you. <laughs> um, okay. So, so uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. We got a lot of this stuff, and we got to get going here. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, healthy body equals healthy brain. So, uh, exercise literally builds the brain. Quite literally, so uh, because exercise does exercise the brain, exercises different parts of the brain. That's why if you change up your routine, you're always working different motor neurons in your in your in your uh, in your brain, and it actually builds and gets stronger and helps out with memory and everything else. So, if you want to be smart and have a good brain for the rest of your life, uh, exercise. Plus, you get a lot more oxygen to your head. Um, Let's see here, Dallas Morning News. Let's hop in here. Yeah, I got I got tons of stuff in here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, here's one. Heed what you eat. Uh, basically, slow down. Uh, do some mindful eating. Enjoy what you eat. Think about it. Enjoy it. Let it roll around your mouth for a little bit. Um, be be a food lover, not a uh, food obsessor. So instead of obsessing over food and just gorging on it and getting the high off of it, get the high off of it by actually enjoying it. You know, chew more than two times before swallowing. <laughs> chew, you know, chew 50, 60, 100 times. Eat so like me so you can get made of, made fun of by every friend that you have every time you go out to eat because I'm the last one done, always, for every meal, always. Um, that's probably because I'm my only child and I have to fend people off for my food. <laughs> um, but um, They say the French only take three bites and that's why the portions are so small when you travel overseas. They just have... Little tiny, yeah, but they have no, seven courses. No, they, well, they well they appreciate. It. Actually, they, they take a lot of bites and they chew they they chew their food up. Mm-hmm. They enjoy it. They mm-hmm. they love it. You know, they have the little swig of wine with and let it roll around and mm-hmm. uh, enjoy the entire experience of the mm-hmm. meal. So but aren't they that's a six big course, deal. But isn't it very common to have several courses? So you mean it's uh, tiny, not tiny. usually. You don't see a lot of fat French yeah. people. Yeah, but yeah, but plus you they the walk all over the place. Yeah. And, and they don't have they don't have the uh, the whole walking range thing either because they, they enjoy their stuff. They take chill pills. You know, I like the two hour lunch thing. That's a great idea to yeah. me. Oh, you know, oh, siesta. I want that job. <laughs> siesta in the middle of the yeah, day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of the French, we're going to jump ahead here. Um, I was going to do the thing about uh, working out inside, indoors, uh, because we were snowed in for like two weeks here in Dallas, oh, which gosh, is just yeah. odd for us. Uh, but speaking of the French, a little wine. Um, mm-hmm. Too much of a good thing can be bad for you. However. A little bit of a good thing can be great for you. Yes. So, uh, if we're looking at wine, uh, recommendations is, is five ounces a day. That would be a small glass. Ooh, that's not very much. Yeah, it's not very much. <laughs> it's not one of those big tumblers that people like to guzzle down. Um, I but to add uh, seven up to that. Basically, normally it's five ounces for women, ten ounces for men is what they're doing. But that's usually you know, depends on, on weight. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, so, well, but if you can uh, afford a nicer wine. You don't have yeah. to go buy yeah. box wine if you yeah. want to have and, such a small Yeah, and, and enjoy enjoy the wine. Let it roll around for a little bit. Have a good steak with it with it um let's see